Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Antimatter Dimensions Reality Update video, episode 21. And although this started last episode, I'm going to continue trying to get this one achievement, the Yo Dog. I heard you like reskins. And so basically, I've grinded basically as far as I could with the turning points without buying any of these upgrades. And I'm just going to do what I did before. So basically, I. Disable all of my dimension auto buyers. I disable all of my infinity dimension auto buyers. I'm still somewhat gaining the eternity points somehow. And then I guess I'll just do one last eternity and then I can get, well, a few of these. And that's basically it. I could also try dilating, but I don't think it's going to do much. And. So basically, I'm going to set this to zero. I have disabled the dynamic amount, and I start at E584. So basically, I'm going to want um, basically 309 plus that. So that will be 8. It'll be 893. I just don't, I don't want to mess up the calculation again. So E893. 1E893. And then enable this. So. As you can see, the progress immediately hits a brick wall because, well, I need dimension multipliers. So, let's see. It looks like um, the higher the dimension, the better. Let's see, sixth, seventh. It's actually not quite enough. Um, what about this? Eighth infinity dimension. Oh, that does nothing. Sixth infinity dimension. Four, or third infinity dimension. Just... I guess I can gain, do all the infinity dimensions, because that, and maybe I can even do a few regular dimensions, even though it's doing basically nothing. Uh, and then maybe, I'm, I'm going to skip the eighth normal dimension now, because that's going to be, like, the overpowered one. And I'm still actually not able to hit E893, so what I can do is I can manually buy... Um, a few eighth dimensions, and I don't I don't want to go crazy here, and I think I just turned you at probably way over what I needed. Okay, it's not way over. It's nine point eight eight e eight ninety three. So that's basically e eight ninety four, and I should do um to three ten to be safe. So that is e twelve o four. I can do twelve o three though. So E1203 is the next goal. And, and now I'm going to disable all of these auto buyers and all of my infinity dimension auto buyers just for the eighth dimensions. And I'm going to do it very quickly. So just, you can see, whoa, yeah. Just, <laughs> I, d I enable it very, 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 very quickly. And... I way overshoot, so I'm going to try again. I'm going to try a different strategy. So, this time, start back at 0. Um, 584. And then, I did before, 1E893. And this time, if I just, just do 8th dimensions here. Um, that's just very short. Yep, I overshot again. 922. Don't. 8th dimensions are powerful. What about... Limiting my antimatter galaxies to like twenty. I'm 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 gonna try that this time. So <laughs> as usual, starting from zero and then one e eight eight ninety three, and then I enable my eighth dimensions, and and I'm I'm doing it very quickly. So even that is not good. What if I just do zeros just so I get dimension boosts? No galaxies. <laughs> 1E893, e and then it'll enable my 8th dimensions. I still probably overshot. I don't, I don't know how much, e, how much, like, that amount of orders of magnitude is going to matter, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So, for the 4th time now, restarting. This time, actually not getting 8th dimensions. Getting everything that's not an 8th dimension. Or an eighth normal dimension. So I'm gonna get first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh dimensions. And then um, I'm just gonna keep getting infinity dimensions. And 
I'm going to have to manually buy some eighth dimensions. And even like that, that's going to be, even that, that's just incredibly powerful. And I still overshot. <laughs> so I'm going to try a different strategy. This time, um, I'm going to disable all these auto buyers and then just manually buy dimensions. And so that I can get maybe. I can get max dimension boosts and then not get anything else. But no, that's even that's overpowered. So I gotta try something else. So I'm gonna do I'm just gonna do this. One of this. One of this. And I think that is what I need. Just, just that is powerful enough. To get all the way to E796. Now I can I can start doing infinity dimensions and that should get me to eat 893 without overshoot, without massively overshooting. Fourth, fifth. I'm now very close. I'm going to do seventh infinity dimension and eighth infinity dimension. And then I'm basically right there. I can, I can even like manually buy a few of these if I really want. Just boost myself just a little bit more. And one E893 is very close. Just keep buying these <laughs> just boost it ever so slightly i'm probably doing this way too carefully i could probably i could probably get away with doing the same with infinity dimensions and um, there we go did i just max all no it did not e893 finally so now e1202 so e1202 this time I am not gonna. Well, I've already gotten infinity dimensions. What if I just do eighth dimensions with zero galaxies? Whoa, that gets me all the way to E1155. All the way there. Um, what if I start doing other normal dimensions? Basically nothing. That is the power of <laughs> having eighth dimensions over the other dimensions. I can probably start re enabling some infinity infinity dimensions, but even that's not doing all that much. Like, even, like, second... Oh, okay, there we go. It just did it. It probably overshot by... Okay, that's not too much. It's only a few orders of magnitude. E1208. If it's, like, doing it by over 10 orders of magnitude, that's what I want to stop. So next up, E1517. And now I think I can start um, allowing myself to get 8th dimensions more. E, 15, 17, and by 8th dimensions, and oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Did it buy, did it do two eternities there? It did not. I also overshot again. E, 15, 20. So next will be E, 1830. I cannot do E, 1829. That is because I'm already base, basically at 1521. So, 1830. <laughs> See him already back up to E1517, which is crazy. So now re re-enable this, and I don't have any infinity dimension auto buyers. So now I think the next thing I want to do is start slowly raising the amount of galaxies I can buy. Somehow this is not oh, it's actually not limiting my antimatter galaxies at all. That that's why. That's why it's so overpowered. So now let's start getting infinity dimensions, just being careful that I don't overshoot. Um, E1770, probably go for 6 next. 1807, just get this, and there we go, 1830, exactly. So next up, I am now halfway there. Get E2139, 2139. 2139. And enable. And I can probably now start to afford to start enabling more of my infinity dimensions. I still want to be careful with the first one because the first one is very powerful. So, yeah, I did. How much did I overshot? Oh, God. No. I overshot by a huge margin. 2160. I needed 2139. Gosh, I'm making I'm making it harder on myself by doing that. Um, well, I guess with 2160, 
it's it's a low 2160 so i can do e2469 nice i guess 2469 and just do the first infinity dimension at this point and okay now now i need to start actually going a little bit i i now need to start really having a lot of boosts powering up at once so 2409 maybe i can do sixth i'm very close now and boom so next up i want e2778 yeah that's what i want so go here 2778 how, how much am i now i'm now one two three four five six seven i'm very close it's only gonna be the last few runs that are gonna be tricky so, re-enable this. I can probably afford to have every Infinity Dimension auto buyer helping me at this point. Because you can see I'm it's taking a bit to reach E2778. So I need that. Just the eighth dim eighth infinity dimension. And Okay, E3088. That's the next one. And this is going to be the big one. The one that is going to take a while, I think. Luckily, well, not luckily, I've prepared for this. I have a slew of attorney point multipliers to help me with this. So I'm not going to buy max. I'm actually going to use the enter key. So I can do a lot of them at once. But I still don't want to buy max just in case I overshoot. But I'm not overshooting. And... Oh, no. This is going to take a long time. I'm still many 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 orders of magnitude away and i have all of my automation helping me now well i guess now is the time where i say see ya in like weeks or days i don't know okay i'm back after a couple of hours and i just noticed something actually wait no never mind i'm just getting a little bit of eternity points i thought i forgot to get more time dimension things and that and that's what was happening, but no, it's it's not that. Some I'm just getting eternity points passively somehow. Not even sure how. And also, I did one other thing, and that was I grinded seven and a half billion infinities. And since I need every boost I can get, I'm still nowhere close. I thought I just found the key to get like lots of orders of magnitude of eternity points, but no, I still have to wait. See in a long while. Okay, I'm back like three or four days later, maybe even longer, and I just eternityed at 1.57 E3087. Yes, I calculated very precisely what I needed there. I needed E3087 eternity points, and what I did is, well, I bought some dilation upgrades. This one especially. It's really useful. I was at like 82 Tachyon Galaxies, and I'm at 90. So it's going to make a big difference. But unfortunately, there's still one more to go if I want to get this. And this is the, if I go here, like, yeah, 96 hours. I also grinded Infinities. Um, I'm going to need to get E, about 3E. It looks like I got 1.63 E3087. So I need about 3.0. E3395. So going here, automation, 3E3395. And this is this is gonna be way worse because here's the thing. Yes, I can get this. This will get me back up to E3057. I can get these, including well, first of all, I can lock the eighth time dimension. I can't afford it. But I can get a seventh time dimension. And this seems promising at the very beginning, because all of a sudden, I'm up to E3240 eternity points. However, I'm still 150 orders of magnitude away from my goal. 150 orders of magnitude. That is like, I'm barely halfway from what I have here to the end goal. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess I, I can... I can afford to wait even longer, but I'm not sure if this is possible. I will be waiting even longer 
But like even the next dilation upgrade is really far away. I mean, there is this, but I could try dilating time. But I don't know if that really helps anything. So yeah, see you in a long while. Okay, so it's been about a week since last recording. So it isn't the worst. And you can see I need, or currently I have E3389 at 30 points. I need three E3395. And dun dun da, da I am gonna, I'm, it's just 37 seconds until I get two more galaxies, which hopefully should get me the rest of the way. And yes, I did calculate three E3395 is what I need. So here we go. It is just 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 seconds until I get two galaxies. And finally, I hope, wait, really? Nope. I got trolled. It's just barely not enough. Yeah, I guess I have to wait even longer. Hopefully, it's not going to be that bad. I'm literally 87% of the way there linearly. So, yeah, hopefully I'll get the that rest of the percent soon. So, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back maybe 20 to 30 minutes later, and I'm not at 3.00 E3395, e but I calculated. I actually need 2.96 E3395 attorney points. I will do a export of my save, but I'm going to eternity, do this, and boom, there we go. Just barely. Okay, not a secret achievements. Just barely. I don't know why I spent so much time Getting one achievement, but oh my god! Finally, I can. I'm gonna turn off all these confirmations, and I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna start progressing now. So first things first, just get all of this stuff. And get all of the time dimensions. I can get the eighth time dimension, which is pretty good. I can already get E3406. Oh, it's because I have this auto buyer on. Yeah, that that's why. I can also do a dilation run. I'm gonna do that after I just quickly grab. <laughs> A few more eternity points here. E3550. I'm getting pretty close to E4000. Let's dilate time. I don't know why I haven't gotten this yet, but it's actually about only quadrupling my attack young particles. So it isn't actually as powerful as I might think, even with stuff like the eighth time dimension. Well, at the very least, I'll be able to get all the way up to E3680 eternity points. It's really just this. From here on out, it's just this over and over and over again. Just attorney when I get a good amount of attorney points, and then get the get all the attorney point multiplier. Dilate every now and then. Actually, stay in dilation most of the time because that gets me more dilated time, and that's what's actually going to matter. So e thirty nine hundred attorney points. I'm now just one run away. From getting e4000 but here's the thing that i'm gonna spend basically the entire rest of this episode discussing and this is that i don't i don't want to just instantly reality that that's not that's not a good idea because i'm gonna want more reality machines you saw how slow this reality was so you could see this is how many reality machines i can i can gain two reality machines and it's probably based on eternity points that I can get, not just current eternity points. So, basically, here, here's the thing. I don't, I don't, I have no idea what glyphs. Well, actually, there is this upcoming glyphs. I can wait. I can choose. I didn't know I could choose. I thought it was just random. Well, I, anyway, actually, what I'm gonna do is that is gonna be reserved for next episode. Next episode is gonna be all about the next reality. This episode is going to be about this reality. So, basically, what's going on here is that there's more scaling after E4000 attorney points for both the time dimensions and the attorney point multipliers. So, it's getting increasingly hard to actually get more attorney points. You can see I was getting 100 orders of, orders of magnitude each run, now I'm only getting about 50 orders of magnitude each run. And you can see, actually, right there, 
it, it was about 10 orders of magnitude between each eternity point multiplier. So, yeah, things are going to get harder and harder from here on out. I am getting more and more machines. There's also stuff like glyph level that I'll be able to get next reality. And, yeah, we're, we're going to discuss all about that next episode and then finish it, finish it off with a reality. Here, there's like seven hours until the next triple the amount of tachyon particles gained upgrade. This is like 11 hours of magnitude each. So it shouldn't be too bad. I, I will be grinding a lot. I still am ahead of schedule because I've only uploaded like episode 16 to YouTube, even though I've recorded all the way up to 21 now. So I'm just going to do a lot of off-camera stuff here. I can even try like dilating time here it will give me probably a, at least a few more tachyon particles so let's see yeah i can get two e8 tachyon particles that gets me up to about one e9 which turns this seven hours into six hours and so that's gonna that's gonna all really help so anyway now that i've finally gotten to the end game of this reality hope you enjoyed peace out